Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2012 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. David East. His presenter is his son, Drew East, a former state champion from Bakersfield High School. David East attended Bakersfield High School where he was an undefeated 1972 Central Section Masters Champion for Hall of Fame coach Owen Polite. And that team was also the Cal High 1972 State Team of the Year. After high school, David attended Bakersfield Junior College where he was runner up at the JC State Championships. From Bakersfield College, David enrolled at Cal State Bakersfield where he wrestled for Joe Say from 1975 through 1976. While at Cal State Bakersfield, Dave was a member of the school's first NC2A Division II National Championship wrestling team. Once David graduated from college, David coached wrestling at Maricopa High, West High of Bakersfield, Bakersfield High, and Liberty High Schools. David found success at his alma mater. His teams at Bakersfield High won 15 straight league championships, and six of those teams were undefeated. David's dual meet record was 210 wins and only 12 defeats. In 2002, and while at Bakersfield High, his team set a state tournament record scoring 226 and a half points with nine wrestlers placing in the top six. Seven were in the championship finals, and of those seven, four wrestlers won individual CIF state titles. David was awarded and selected as a National Wrestling Coach of the Year and California State Wrestling Coach of the Year for that season. Some of David East's prized wrestlers were the following. David coached the only four-time Central Section champion, Jake Varner, and the only four-time CIF State champion to date in Darrell Vasquez. To this day, David has continued to work with wrestling programs in Kern County at both the high school and junior high levels. David, we commend you, and at this time, we'd like to honor and recognize you here in your hometown. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2012 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. David East. Thank you. I'd like to thank the, um, the committee that elects the people on the, for this honor. I'd like to thank um, so many people, um, Lynn Dyke, especially you see him at state tournaments and I think, how much that guy get paid? I don't think he gets paid very much for all the time that he puts in, but there's so many people that um, are part of this that um, I'd like to just thank them. Um, I'd like to recognize one person. They, they sent us a letter and said, we're not supposed to recognize everybody in our family. If you have a big family, that'd take up the whole time. But um, I'd like to recognize one person, <clears throat> my dad. And I'd like him to stand, Dr. East. This is, he is um, 83 years old and he's still preaching. He'll get up in the morning and he'll go, um, to a Bible study class at, at his um, son-in-law's church, then he'll listen to that sermon, and then he'll go out to Fairfax and, and preach a sermon. But um, we have our heroes in um, athletics. I know we all do, but um, that's the kind of hero sometimes that we should have. Um, proud of my dad. <clears throat> I stopped coaching at Bakersfield High School in um, 2002, and um, I look back on it, and I think of how many, from the time I was a freshman in high school, how many Christmas vacations that I didn't have. I, I mean, practice, and you didn't eat very well, everybody else was eating, and there were years, 40 years or more that um, I really didn't, and I know a lot of people in this room, same thing, maybe more years than that, 
you don't have a Christmas vacation. But I stopped coaching in 2002, and um, um, I actually got to know my wife again. <laughs> and um, I remembered why I married her. So that was, a, that was one of the positives about um, not coaching anymore. Um, wrestling's full of, um, well, wrestling <clears throat> to me is, um, and I know so many people in the room are going to feel the same way. Wrestling's an attitude. It's not um, as much um, horsepower, or, and that matters. Um, it's not as much um, great technique, and that matters. We know it does, but it's an attitude. And um, I know that um, that was kind of proven, in, um, and I don't want to hurt Mona's feelings. Moms, moms are um, sensitive about their boys, but that was proven with Daryl. I remember watching Daryl, and he might not feel like he was a skinny little guy his freshman year, but he was. He was a, he got no arms, skinny little guy, and um, but he had an attitude, and that's wrestling. That's that's that, that is an example of wrestling to me. That's that's um, that's just huge. Um, it's the attitude that really matters. We um, we had a great group for about four years there, and and then it really culminated in 2002, but. Um, there were some coaches that came in the room that were um, part of that attitude. I remember um, we, um, Larry Morgan wanted to um, coach with our group. We knew he didn't know much wrestling, but um, we were going to let him coach with us and because um, we want to get Nathan in there. So, <laughs> no, Larry came in the room um, and we were talking for a couple of years there about maybe this team could win a state championship. We had a great group of um, middle schoolers that had won state championships individually. They had gone to the Tulsa Nationals. They traveled all over, and um, they were pretty tough, and we thought this group could win a state championship. And so we were talking about it one day, and Larry comes in the room, and he said, state championship? We're going to win a world championship. What are you talking about? I don't think anybody told Larry, they don't have a high school world championship for a team. But no, he brought an attitude in the room and he raised the bar a little bit. So um, you start um, wanting to win a state championship and, and um, it might help if you set your sights on the world championship. But um, just so many people that um, Tony Cerro said it earlier and really hit, <laughs> oh man, you did this to me. I had, I had a bunch of stuff to say, a whole bunch of stuff. I drive from um, Tehachapi High School. What, I got to stop right now? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David East.